They race for the Queen Anne Stakes. The yellow jacket of Madge Loom is the slowest away. Big Rock in the blue strides through to lead by two lengths over the pink jacket of Factor Cheval in the early strides of the race. Red jacket of Audience to the right-hand side is Bang in Contention with a blinkered first time of High Royal. Brave Emperor, pale jacket with those. The two Frenchmen going extreme left by themselves. Blue jacket of Big Rock leads. The white face of Factor Cheval on the right, it's Audience. To High Royal and Brave Emperor and Flight Plan, the best turned out when it had a into Lely and Kylo and Poker Face. Magloom with those, then comes Docklands. And at the moment, Witch Hunter is the last of these 13 runners who are now approaching the halfway stage. So it's Big Rock on the extreme left. On the right, Audience, who is the overall leader. Charin is up there in a prominent position as well. Factor Cheval in the pink jacket is over the far side of the course, giving chase to Big Rock. Brave Emperor's ridden along. Poker Face is towards the extreme right with a red sleeve, trying to make progress to Flight Flan and Madge Loom. Heading down below the three marker and Audience with Robert Havlin, the near side in the red leading. Factor Cheval with a white face on the extreme left. Big Rock between those. Charin is next. Dulele behind these runners as they head then down towards the last furlong. And still it's uh, Audience being passed by Charin now to Factor Cheval. Docklands running a big race near side. The white sleeves coming home strongly. But Charin and Sylvester D'Souza with a two or three length lead inside the closing stages of the Queen Anne. And he's won well. Charin the winner. Docklands second. Majloom into third place to Witch Hunter. Audience and Factor Cheval clear of Dulele and also Cairo. Go! They're racing for the King Charles III stakes and Rogue Lightning reared slightly as the stalls opened. He's one of the slowest ones away. Regional to the right-hand side, Vad Dream and Asfora with him and also Valiant Force. Big Evs is the nose-bounded runner on the left, down the centre, leading to Kurdos and Makarova and Seven Questions and Crimson Advocate and Believing behind those. Rogue Lightning, Pura Songhe and Emirati Anna in that group, so also is Diligent Harry and Twilight causes the back marker of that group on the left who are in front here. Big Evs with a noseband on the left has the advantage to Kurdos and Makarova and then Emiratiana. Near side is but regional trying to get into contention. Believing making progress as Fora coming with a strong challenge now. It's Big Evs to As Fora. Believing Makarova. Regional nearest to us. Here's As Fora the light blue sleeve. She's grabbed the lead from Big Evs and As Fora has gone on to win the King Charles III to regional Big as believe in Kurdos, Twilight Calls and Makarova. And they're off, off and racing in the St. James's uh, Palace Stakes over one mile. Henry Longfellow away pretty well to the outside with Unquestionable in the silver just coming through to take them along. Metropolitan, one of three Guineas winners in the contest. The Green Jacket in third with Darling Hurst, yellow and blue cap to the outside, followed by Rosalian and then Al Yanabi, the Newmarket Guineas winner. Notable speech held up at the back of the field with Al Makam as the field have completed two and a half furlongs and they're separated by around about six or seven lengths here. And it is unquestionable. Breeders' Cup winner from last year, just with the advantage to Henry Longfellow in second place. Metropolitan and Alexi Puchan in third position. Christophe Sumion, Darlinghurst, the outside. The French pair three and four, followed by Al Yanabi on the outer of Rosalian and Sean Levy. Al Makam is at the back with notable speech, looking to protect his unbeaten record. They've gone by halfway. They're running towards the three in the St. James's Palace Stakes and unquestionable looking to wind this up from the front Henry Longfellow poised in behind his stable mate in second position Metropolitan shaken up Darlinghurst held together then Al Yanabi Rosalian has got plenty in front of him inside the two notable speech pulled to the outside Henry Longfellow having the first crack at unquestionable they've got a furlong and a half left to go and taking over here Henry Longfellow Rosalian is in the clear notable speech with plenty to do Henry Longfellow Fellow chased all the way by Rosalian. Half a furlong left. Henry Longfellow the inside. Rosalian the outside. Rosalian takes the St. James's Palace under Sean Levy. Henry Longfellow in second. Metropolitan a big run in third ahead of Al Yanabi and Al Makam. And they're off to race over a mile and a quarter for the Group 1 Prince of Wales' stakes in spiral from a high draw. The red, white and blue is dropped in towards the rear of the field. 
Al Flayler, the striped cap of blue and white, was a little slow in gathering stride. And snobbish white cap is beginning to work over as they move into the turn at Swindley Bottom and takes them along by a capper lens, with Hans Anderson, the maroon and blue, chasing the early pace. Raw Rhyme in a yellow jacket just shading third. August rode down the orange and blue for Ryan Moore, racing a very close fourth. Then there's a break of a couple of lengths to Blue Rose Sen, who's racing wide of Alf Layla. Three lengths further back to Lord North. Zara Kem is racing towards the rear of the field at this stage with Horizon Dore. And in spiral, the raw blue cap is last of the ten-strong field as they move through halfway in the Prince of Wales' stakes. And Snobbish is loose on the lead. Clear now by four lengths. Hans Anderson leads the chase. There's another three-length break then to Royal Rhyme, in turn being stalked by August Roda. Alf Layla is tucked away against the running rail and neck away to Blue Rose Sen. A further length and a half to Lord North in a blue and white jacket to Zara Kem in the emerald green. Horizon uh, Dory in a yellow and green jacket is ridden with great patience and has only in spiral behind as they swing for home just outside the last three furlongs. Snobbish being asked for more in front but is being reeled back by Hans Anderson. Royal Rhyme in a yellow jacket turns on and in third. August row down the orange and blue moving comfortably at this stage in fourth. Al Flayler, striped cap looking for a way out. Lord North in the blue and white is on the move and now August Rona powers through to tackle Raw Ryan. Furlong and a half left to go. Horizon Dore from off the pace. Widest of all is being delivered late, but it's August Rodan in front as they come inside the furlong. Horizon Dore challenging. Zara Kim in the emerald green trying to thread the eye of the needle. August Rodan from Horizon Dore and Zara Kim. And it's August Rodan who wins the Prince of Wales' estate. Zara Kim was up for second. Horizon Dore and third close for fourth between Royal Rhyme and Al Flayla. And in spiral midfield, never threatened two and a half mile start and they're off for the gold cup the 2024 gold cup where is the pace going to come from Pridwen in the orange jacket fairly prominent Trawlerman can go forward in the all blue of Godolphin won by William Buick Gregory is handy in the red cap on the outside is the favorite Kiprios wide under Ryan Moore, wide of Coltrane in a noseband, the blue and white jacketed Keys Chorister, then the pink and white of Sweet William, Vauban in pink and green spots towards the inside rail on the left and at the back is Enemy. So Trawlerman cutting out the pace through the first two and a half furlongs. Trawlerman, runner of the long distance cup here on Champions Day last October in the hands of Frankie de Tori, it's William Buick today. Trawlerman leading by a length and a half to Kiprios on the outside of Pridwen. Then Gregory back in fourth on the far side, tracked by Vauban in the centre, the mare, Keys Chorister, followed by Coltrane, Sweet William and Enemy. About to race in front of the massive stands, massive crowds on Gold Cup Day, and it's Trawlerman that leads the way. Kiprios close up in second, the favourite and the winner two years ago, looking to regain the Gold Cup. Pridwen is third, then on the far side is Gregory. They're tracked out wide by Keys Choristers, just beginning to overrace a little bit. Then Vorban next to the rail, followed by Coltrane, Enemy, and Sweet William, who is held on to at the back of the field in the hands of Rab Havlin. About to swing right-handed then, and begin the long run down the hill towards Swinley Bottom, approaching the mile and a half starting point, so they've covered the mile, the first mile, and it's Trawlerman that leads the way, by a length and a half to Kiprios in second. In third is Gregory on the inside, then in fourth is Pridwen. Vauban is next, followed by Keyes Chorister, who's still a bit key. Then uh, behind those is Coltrane, Enemy, second last, and lastly, Sweet William. So tumbling down now towards Swinley Bottom, which will be the lowest point on the race course, and that uh, right-hand turn. And Trawlerman has the advantage, but they're fairly well grouped together. Trawlerman from Kiprios and Keys Chorister just taking off a little bit out wide in the hands of Benoit de la Sayette going down the hill a little bit too keenly followed by Gregory and Pridwen and Coltrane and Vauban and Sweet William and Enemy beginning the run into the right-hander now with about a mile left of travel and it's still Trawlerman nearly joined by Keys Chorister Stealing a half glance in third was Ryan Moore on Kiprios, just checking to see where the others are. Gregory is fourth, Predwin is fifth, then Vauban round the inside of Coltrane, Ashim Murphy biding his time, and then at the back of the field, Enemy and Sweet William. 
They run out of Swindley Bottom and racing on now towards the final six and a half furlongs. And Trawlerman still leading the way, shadowed by the Mayor Keys Chorister. Then uh, Kiprios in third, Gregory. Then Pridwen, Coltrane behind these as they race on up the hill towards the rear of the field still enemy and sweet william still waited with it's still trawlerman they're racing now passing the five and on towards the four trawlerman leads the way by three quarters of a length to keys chorister kipros is well poised so too gregory on the inside four band pridwen then in behind them coltrane still going okay and they're followed by enemy and at the back still sweet william trawlerman's going to run into the turn with a lead of about a length here comes Kiprios now with a promising frightening challenge on the outside in between them Keys Chorister Vorban is following Kiprios out wide then Coltrane now under pressure from Gregory down the home rub Trawlerman still finding chased down now by Kiprios out wide is Vorban and they two are linked two or three lengths clear of Coltrane as they race on inside the final four and a half Ryan Moore says go on Kiprios and Kiprios puts his nose in front Trawlerman is nothing if not game on the far side however and is fighting back Kipros near side of Trawlerman the old rivals Kipros just in front from Trawlerman they race up towards the line and Kipros will regain the gold cup Kipros wins from Trawlerman in second Sweet William running on into third from Vorban in fourth then Coltrane and back in the field Keys Chorister Gregory Enemy and tailed off Pridwin they're off. Six furlongs for the Commonwealth Cup. Military got out well in the centre, the maroon and blue, but is taking an early lead from Orn in a silver jacket. They are beginning to cluster centre at a near side, and it's Orn who leads. The star lust in the pink and green and evade in the black and blue handy. Pocklington in the black and yellow is chasing the leaders. Inish Erin is on the far side, the left of the group in the yellow and black spots, being followed by classic flower and kind of blue. Louis Bartar is back in midfield with Pandora's giving is towards the right in the pink and blue and then Mal, the grey just saw is held up with Lake Forest and military and give me the beat boys and the nose band is ridden along outpaced as they go beyond halfway, two and a half furlongs to go in the Commonwealth Cup and it's Orn in front, Starlust in the pink and green moving up to challenge, Inish Sharon down the centre in the spots beginning his run, Kind of Blue is also coming through, down towards the near side picking up Evade, also staying on Pandora's gift but Inish Sharon swept to the front outside the furlong kind of blue with a light blue sleeves he's giving chase just saw the gray is also running on strongly Inish Erin is over two lengths clear a dominant display and Inish Erin takes them apart to win the Commonwealth Cup it's very close for second between just saw and a running on Lake Forest then kind of blue classic flower and Louis Barta back in midfield they're ready and they're off for the coronation stakes the group won over one mile on the round course and through the early stages porter fortuna the white and green shows handily opera singer out wider also with a prominent early role and between those two is skelet it's another two lengths away to the nose banded see the fire who is racing in company then with rahia another two lengths and back to ratuel who is together with el malka in the yellow the back two content and folgaria they continue on the side of the course as they race towards the final five furlongs. Opera Singer to the outside of Skellet. These two now disputing. A length and a half in behind him in third is Porta Fortuna. Rahira's got a lovely spot there in fourth. A further length then back to see the fire. He's just another length in advance of Rimatuel. Then further back to find El Malka, Content and Fulgaria remain the back two. Heads are about to tear the way back towards home and racing towards the final three furlongs. Skelet to the inside of Opera Singer, the leading pair. Porto Fortuna and Rihir are poised in behind. Then came See the Fire, Ramatuel in the white and black. El Malka ridden for more of the yellow. Then Content and Fulgaria up the home straight inside the final quarter of a mile. Skelet towards the inside of Opera Singer. Then Porto Fortuna back in third, trying to launch an effort is Ramatuel. Then came Rihir, See the Fire and Amalka, Opera Singer went on, Porto Fortuna goes with her, Ramata well is coming home strongly, then came El Malka, they're inside the final half, and it's Porto Fortuna getting the better of Opera Singer on the run towards the line, and Porto Fortuna has won the coronation stakes, has beaten Opera Singer, then Ramata well, followed by See the Fire and El Malka, then came Content for Garia, and in behind that one came Skeleton, last of all. And they're off, racing. 
in the centre, the great Art Power away as ever quickly, followed by Swing Along away towards the left on the extreme left. Far side is Shartash in a red cap going forward. Showing speed is Quinault with Swing Along now taking them along from Quinault and Art Power. And then Shartash over on the far side, chased by Washington Heights. Then Cardem in the centre alongside should have been a ring of Vadrim. Further back then is Jumbi. Mid Bahi towards the rear of the field with the Wizard of Eye believing in about sixth place. Light blue jacket, dark blue cap alongside Mill Stream as they head on towards the final two and a half furlongs and it's swing along on the far side Shartas further out now believing is delivered with a run followed by Mill Stream Quinnell Washington Heights and behind them Cardem is traveling very well last year's winner a furlong and a half from the finish and it's swing along trying to cling on from Mill Stream thrusting at them here comes Cardem Racing between Believing and Swing Along as they race on up towards the line, floor in the line. Cardem finishing off best again as he did last year. Cardem getting up from Swing Along and the eight-year-old Cardem has won the Jubilee two years running under Oshie Murphy this time. Swing Along in second from Millstream. The Wizard of Eyes staying on, followed home by Shartash Believing and Vatry.